My name is Tamira Sullivan, and I am the CEO of Lasting Connections. Um, I'm a matchmaker. Talk a little bit about uh, dating in New York City specifically. I feel like dating in New York City is so difficult for so many people. You know, there's more women here than men, and I feel like, you know, I think people are so busy that they forget that you just have to take an opportunity when you have an opportunity to meet somebody who's great. Don't just say no because they don't fit everything on your list. I feel like people are so obsessed with what they're looking for and they're super picky. Oh, he's not six foot tall. Come on, you can't do that. You can't put those types of restrictions because what if you go on a date with somebody and you really have a connection with them? So you have to meet with them in person and feel the chemistry because I feel like pictures are not gonna tell you what chemistry is like and that's why most of America is single because they're not really meeting in person and they feel good about like swiping left and right. You feel that you're rejecting all these people and it gives you this like boost in self-esteem, mm -hmm. like confidence. Like, oh, I'm rejecting these guys, you know? Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and why do you think the dating apps obviously is taken over, especially in the big cities? What are your personal thoughts on how things are going with the apps versus using, you know, genuine ways of meeting people? Yes, I feel like when you're doing apps, I feel like you forget to meet people outside. You forget to smile at people. You forget to do small talk because you're so tech driven you're looking at your apps when you're in grocery stores you're looking at your apps wherever you are like you're waiting in line or you're sitting in a cafe waiting for your friend and there's a cute guy there you're not gonna look at him you're gonna look at your dating app people can do this themselves instead of being on apps like right. make eye contact do all those things and I feel like people have forgotten to do that mm -hmm. because of the apps. so the apps you know yes they're convenient but mm -hmm. they made everybody a little bit socially awkward mm -hmm. and secluded you have to meet people in person you have to make other efforts you can't just say I've downloaded an app and I'm making an effort like ask your friends if they know somebody that they can introduce you to right I told um, a girl who I was coaching I told her why don't you ask your friends mm -hmm. you know she if they know some people yeah and she was able to come up her friend was able to come up with three men and one of the guys that she's dating right now talking to people networking with people telling them you're single if they know anybody I think that's a great way but then I also think New York City has so many people out there like go to different places you don't have to be at bars like go to Whole Foods there's men and women shopping grocery shopping you can talk to people right I mean, you're just making eye contact smiling if you think someone's cute you can do that yeah but I feel like because of the apps people don't do that and because everybody's so busy in their own world this is the mindset we have to get away from we can't be like this because mm -hmm. I feel like it's keeping America single what are your top tips if someone is you know distracted or busy or looking at their phone yeah. how do you approach that person without feeling like you're interrupting them if you're looking at somebody and they're on the phone like if you're a man looking at a woman doing that you know compliment her you look great I just wanted to compliment you or something like that men are scared to say things like that because women are on the defense mm -hmm. um, so you have to kind of look at the person's body language and you can tell how they're standing in the line if a right. woman's standing in the line and she's she seems open and nice you can smile at her and then say you look really pretty today you know mm -hmm. something like that right I think will go a long way because a lot of men don't do that here. Right, so, right. Yeah. Well, so some, what are some other places people can meet besides friends, you know, mutual friends course, or at Whole Foods? Of course. Um, so I think gyms are great. Um, you know, smaller gyms are great to meet people. There's events that are happening in the summertime, but there's meetup groups also. Right. Every day you're doing the same thing. Yeah. So go to a different meetup once a week. Right. Because that's going to introduce you to people that have similar interests as you, and I think that could be great. If you're widowed or divorced, um, you've been out of the dating scene uh -huh. for years and years and yeah. years, what is your first step to get back? I feel like if you're just coming out of a divorce, you need to rebrand yourself. Mm -hmm. Or if you're widowed, of course, you have to heal You know, through that. Like, Make sure you work on yourself and you take time for yourself. You know, you were known for as a mother or a wife for so long and mm -hmm. now you're basically creating a new identity so I feel what's really important is like look at your image are you happy with yourself do you like the way you look you know do you want to lose weight do you want to get a new wardrobe do you want to change your hairstyle mm -hmm. you're basically rebranding yourself that's really going to put you in the right mindset to mm -hmm. date because you'll be excited and you'll feel good about yourself when you feel good about yourself you want to go and meet other people I would start with online dating mm -hmm. if your match.com is really great for that you know you have to date you can't just look for like oh I'm looking for a relationship I'm ready to go out you need mm -hmm. to date and find out what you like again because the last time you dated was 20 years ago right you may not be the same person you don't know what you like now first dates I feel 
that you need to be yourself. Don't talk about heavy things, you know, mm -hmm. talk about your passions, what you like to do, talk about travel, mm -hmm. talk about your goals, don't talk too much about your work, do not talk about lost relationships. Right. Um, I feel like people bring up relationships and then kids and all that kind of stuff. I think just keep it to your passions, get to know each other, what do you like to do? That opens up topics, right. different topics. And so you're going to have a conversation about a lot of things and it's gonna tell you a lot about that person versus like asking interview style questions. Right, right. Don't make it an interview. Right. And keep it light. Yeah. And people are quick to leave a first date and, you know, write somebody off right away or, yes. you know. It's so important to, like, give somebody three dates because people are really nervous on the first date. Sometimes I have seen this where they did not feel chemistry on the first date, but then they went on a second date and that person grew on them. And third date and they're like, oh my God, I really like this person. Mm -hmm. We're so quick to judge people and we're so quick to like walk away because there are so many options and because right. we don't have patience and we think we're so busy, we don't have time for this. Mm -hmm. But in reality, I think we need to give people more time if you mm -hmm. feel the connection. Like you were saying, some people are just too busy. Say yeah. your work schedule is weird hours or you work different late shifts yes. or overnights. How do you make the time? I think it's just BS when people are saying things like, oh, I don't have time, I'm so busy. I feel like they're hiding behind their busyness mm -hmm. because I feel that everybody has time to date, okay? And you can make time, go on one date. like. Just like you do anything else, you have to make time to date. And if you're saying you don't have time, that means you're not serious. You're not really wanting a relationship. So right. it's kind of like the same thing where it's like, oh, he didn't text me because he's so busy. Right. Or she didn't text me because she's so busy. Mm -hmm. No, they're just not that into you. That's why they're not texting you because it doesn't take long. And I don't care mm -hmm. how busy you are. You should text somebody right away. Right. It shouldn't take you more than a day. If you are not into somebody, then you let them know. You can right. text them and let them know, hey, it was really great meeting you. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoyed your company and I just don't feel like we have enough in common or I didn't feel the chemistry or whatever. Just be very honest mm -hmm. and you know, good luck in your, in your dating endeavors. Do you think it's harder for women or men in this area? It's more difficult for women. I mean, no, no question. The women that have the most issues, the most difficulty here in Manhattan are career women because those are the women who live here. Mm -hmm. It's very hard because of the type of guys that they're attracting here and they're not looking for a commitment always. It's very hard. What I feel like women need to do who live in Manhattan, they have to be open to guys from Long Island, be open to Westchester, like be open to other parts. Don't just be so stuck on the fact that you have they to live in Manhattan. Yes, they have to live in Manhattan and I'm not gonna commute or this or that. If you really are looking for a relationship and you want kids, like why are you limiting yourself? Because this is a small island mm -hmm. and there's only specific type of men that you're going to meet here. Women are getting more independent and they're you know more focused on their career and they're making good money that they really don't need men. Like we did you know 50, 50 years, years ago, ago. Mm -hmm. exactly so the dynamic has changed um, and I feel like a lot of people are going to just have you know long-term relationships without marriage um, which is fine but there are enough women out there who want marriage and children and that traditional lifestyle mm. I think some of these women are just really frustrated right um, and I think that men too but like it's exhausting. It's yeah, a full-time job. It almost. is a full -time Dating job. is a full-time job. It's very, very hard. And I feel, I mean, my heart goes out to women here. I feel mm -hmm. like it's really difficult. Thank you so much for coming of and course. sitting down with us. You're and welcome. Maybe next time we'll get everybody on our site to submit questions. And if you yeah. have anything for Samira, be sure to write to ABC7NY, comment on Facebook, and we'll get those questions in next time.